it's a very exciting time to be a wrestling fan. If you're in the business of making money, it would behoove you to be a safe and inclusive space. Whether you agree with what someone is saying has nothing to do with his right to say it. The thing that made Jimmy so happy that morning was that this was the day that Warlow was being made. Jimmy was so excited, you'd think he was being made. He must have made four calls to Warlow's house. They had a signal all set up so he'd know that the minute that the ceremony was over. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Who's this? This is Benny. Benny, what happened? Well, we get straightened out? No, we had a problem. I mean, uh, we tried to do everything we could. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. He's gone. And we couldn't do nothing about it. That's it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, He's gone. Man. He's gone. What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. Yo, tell me why I'm looking down the thread at the uh, recent community post with Edge, and I'm seeing so many comments come to the defense. Not even the defense. I take that back because to come to the defense will actually have like a plausible, you know, excuse as to why this is happening at the moment that makes the company look better. But instead, it's just mud slinging. It's just insults. It's ad hominems. Oh, if you don't like it, turn the channel. Oh, it's not for you. Oh, you're not a real wrestling fan. We hear this all the time from the AEW faithful. You see, when you come to my channel, I'm not biased at all. I shit on everything. Whether we're talking about WWE and I, currently right now I'm in my WrestleMania arc where I'm constantly shitting on the main event because I do not like how Cody, how Roman, and how Seth are presented when going up against The Rock because in reality, if you look at their gimmicks, they're absolute either trash, silly, or tiresome. So don't come at me with the whole, oh, you're a WWE fanboy stick that I hear all the time. I will outwardly admit to you that I'm a bigger WWE fan than I am an AEW fan at the moment even though, unfortunately, I don't have my channel anymore. But if you go back in the past, you could talk to people. You could talk to people in the comment section. They used to call me Dr. from New York with how much I used to fucking glaze all over AEW back in 2021 and 2022. I will still shit on them, but I would acknowledge that they had the better product at the time compared to what WWE was doing at the moment. But right now, WWE clearly has the better product than AEW, and there's nothing you could tell me from that. Looking at it objectively without being a biased fanboy. It is what it is, and that's not to say that WWE is perfect, but they are damn sure better and more hotter than AEW at the very moment, and there's nothing you can say objectively that would change my mind from all that. But why is it that I can notice these effects and still talk about how shitty I think the main event scene is in WWE, in my opinion, building up the WrestleMania as far as the storyline is considered. Why can I look at something like Roman Reigns and tell you guys that I really want the belt off of him because I'm tired of his fucking reign because not only is it just objectively tiresome but because it's making the other world championship belt look like a complete fucking joke even though they're te i would think theoretically on different cards right right i can shit on cody Rhodes all day i can shit on seth rollins all day right i can tell you how i look at their mid card scene and even though i think they're great wrestlers for the most part i think their mid card scene is boring outside of gunther right Right, I can look at the United States Championship picture and say to myself, I like Logan Paul as far as the character is considered, but at the same time, I wish there was someone a little bit more credible in that position in terms of actually, you know, elevating the United States Championship up to factors that I thought that Logan Paul would have done, but he's not on television enough for me to actually see that happening. He's on more than I thought he'd be, but not enough for me to actually consider whether or not I think he's a credible United States Champion in my opinion. I know what they're doing, but I understand I still don't like it nonetheless. Their women's division. I can shit on WWE all day, and I do it all the time. And yet, when I shit on AEW one time, and mind you, I shit on WWE more, but my critiques for AEW are a hell of a lot more critical. That you have to acknowledge. 
But when I shit on AEW, with the WWE fanboys, we can have a cordial conversation. I mean, yeah, you might have one or two lunatics out there, but for the most part, it's like, you can look at my look at my own community post, my most recent community post that I did talking about the card and saying, holy shit, this shit's going way too fucking long. The quality, it's going to drastically drop down if, the, if you're going to just have the fucking five-hour show, drop it to three hours. And it's just a it's a cordial conversation with most people on the community post, at least right now so far. But when you talk to the AEW faithful, it's you are a bitch. You are a son of a bitch. Oh, boy, if your mom was here, I'll give her the one to buckle my shoe. And I'm not talking about my penis. It's my left and my right. Oh, oh, it might even hurt her. Oh, mark my words, my paper thin arms, it might even hurt her. You gotta give, give me a fucking break, bro. Look, AEW ain't the end all be all, but that's not my problem. That's not my problem. My problem is the AEW fanboys who just can't take objective criticism, who can't take objective truth about your stick. Ask you guys a question. If I talk about ticket sales and I bring up the fact that ticket sales are at an all time low, a record low, especially in comparison to its previous years when discussing AEW, is that not the honest to God truth or am I lying? To say that I'm lying will say that you do not do basic research or at the very least, you don't know what the fuck is going on. You're living underneath your AEW rock because that's true. It's damn true. When I talk about, say, for an example, their rivalries going on at the moment, can you give me the hottest rivalry in AEW at the moment? Can you tell me? What's the hottest thing going in AEW at the moment? Huh? And now you tell me whether or not they're A, not WWE stars, or B, it's super duper hot. Because even if they're WWE stars, like Edge and Christian, for an example, that's not super hot. Oh, oh, but we can talk about the TV ratings and the viewership numbers, right? Why do you care so much about the TV ratings and the viewership numbers? Oh, sit down, Punky Brewster. Okay, like, as if, like, I hate this. It's, it's such a disingenuous argument because if they were popping right now, if the viewership numbers were high right now, let's just say theoretically they were doing 2.4 million. Let's just say they were destroying SmackDown at the moment. You know what they'd be doing? Hip, hip, hooray. Oh, hey. Oh, hip hop, hooray. They would not stop rubbing it in your faces as if this is some fucking teamwork thing. Like it's a goddamn Super Bowl win for these motherfuckers to beat Raw, for an example. They would not stop rubbing it in your faces. God help me. God help us all. They will say that everything that Tony Khan has done within the past four years, it is now, it, it, he, he made it right. They will not let you hear the fucking end of it. Right? But... When the ratings and the viewership numbers are at an all-time low to the extent that Mercedes Monet comes here and these motherfuckers are going to be like, she made it over a million views, Devontae. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, you can say all you want to, that Big Bang Theory, for an example, oh, well, I don't think it really helped out AEW overall. Okay, that's an argument to say because I know people are making the argument of, well, it starts at 802 as far as when they start to record all the uh, numbers and stuff like that for the Nielsen ratings, right? That has nothing to do with the people who watch Big Bang Theory and probably left their TV on for a couple of minutes past the 802 mark that put Mercedes Monet average over a million. This is basic understanding. You can straw man this as much as you want and pretend as if the conversation about Sasha overall is discussing the viewership number for AEW. I know that you're deflecting. I know that you're just trying to take attention from Sasha Banks while still focusing on Sasha Banks as if that's what the entire conversation is about when discussing with AEW when we're talking about Sasha Banks. You can sit here and try to misconstrue this conversation as much as humanly possible. No, I'm on point and I see what you're fucking doing. You're gradually trying to move the goalposts. No, 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 no. When we said Big Bang Theory, we were talking about Sasha Banks. We're not talking about the overall viewership number for AEW. Why the fuck are we going to take the first few minutes of the Big Bang Theory's audience when we know they're not going to be around for the entire show and use that as an argument to invalidate the argument overall about AEW's medium being 801,000? That's fucking stupid. It's a two-hour show. I don't think people who are watching the Big Bang Theory who don't care for AEW are leaving their television show on in mass, mass, mass majority for over two fucking hours. 
hours. You know damn well we're talking about Big Bang Theory being the reason why Mercedes Monet went over the million viewership mark for her segment alone. Because that makes sense. People who are tuning in, they are probably recording that specific number. And they take that number and they tell you this was the peak when people watched her promo. And it drastically went down as they clicked off the television because Big Bang Theory wasn't on at that moment. I don't understand this argument that these people are trying to have, but, that, but that's just an example because you know what they're trying to do. This is what I mean when it comes to the AEW faithful. They do not like objective truth and they are enablers. I said it once and I'll say it again. They don't like AEW. They hate WWE. Do you understand that point? They do not like AEW. They hate WWE. I guarantee you if there was somebody who had a company that was on par with AEW at this very moment and they were in second place, they would jump ship so fast, so hard from AEW. I swear to God, if you blink twice, you probably would have missed them putting on their new fucking WXW fucking shirt, for an example. That's how fast they would have jumped on the next bandwagon if that company conceivably was competing with WWE. It's because they hate WWE more than they love AEW. I said this for a long time and I will continue touting that flag because there's no way you can look at the objective bullshit that AEW has done from a booking standpoint, from the flow of the show, from the production, for how they actually buried most of their wrestlers that they build up, the inconsistent booking, the inconsistent booking on the shows in itself. You have your favorite superstars that you like to watch, that you follow, who went to AEW and I guarantee you because there's not one consistent talent in AEW right now at the moment who is booked to look competent, who is booked throughout the show that we can actually relate to on a consistent basis. I said it once and I'll say, you fuck with the average AEW angle and I said it once. A couple of years ago during the Attitude Era, what you get out of the average AEW angle in a month, you get in one episode of Raw back in about 25 years ago. That's how it was. That's not saying that WWE was moving at such a fast pace. That's suggesting that AEW is moving at such a slow pace, right? There's no way you can look at your favorite superstar that you're following at the moment who happens to be in AEW and say that you're satisfied with their current position. There's no way. With what title? What title? I mean, never mind the fact that they have 100 million fucking titles that they show from every goddamn promotion, from ROH, from their own. Their own titles are overshadowed by different other promotions titles and their own second fucking show titles. They overshadow their own belts. So their belts have no prestige for the fact that they're never presented in the correct manner. They're never shown throughout television. They're never made the focal point of any few that I can probably think of. And if they were, you see it one time and you might not get the fucking few the following week just to get it the next week. Do you defend that booking? Is that, that's the truth, right? Do you defend that? Huh? Do you defend having Willow Nightingale, for an example, going up against Riho in the main event over Samoa Joe and Warlow after having the promo Warlow had be, uh, a couple of weeks ago? So one, he shouldn't even be in this match. You should be, you should continue building up his momentum. Warlow shouldn't have even looked at the World Championship for like another couple of months, maybe even a full year. You jumped the gun like Vince Russo. You took Warlow. He had an awesome promo. You buried him by putting him in a match with fucking saying, yes, it's a fucking burial. That's something else that they want to fucking enable and pretend it's not a fucking thing. It doesn't have to be a burial because, whoa, Devontae, look at the position he's in in the company. What did he do previously that is now on a steep, sharp decline compared to what he's doing currently at the moment? That is a burial. Yes, that's literally in the description. A sharp decline. Burial, meaning he's going down under. Just because he's in a formidable position comp compared to everybody else does not mean that he's not being buried. Let me ask you guys a fucking question just to kind of make a bit of a comparison here. If I had a billion dollars and I went to a million dollars, did I not just use, did I not just lose like what? 999,000 fucking million dollars, whatever the fucking number is that makes it a million. Did, did I not just lose like 99% of my fucking money? Right. Did I not? Did that not just occur? Huh? Or maybe I did the math wrong. But you get what I'm trying to say, though. I'm not mathing right. I'm not mathing too hard right now. But if I went from a billion 
to a million did I not just lose a fucking shit fucking ton of my money, right? Oh, but I'm still a millionaire and I'm still rich. So therefore, <laughs> okay, Dora, you didn't lose a lot of money. Yes, I did. I went from a B to an M. That's a lot of fucking money. If I had a million dollars and I went to a thousand dollars, that's literally the same thing. Would you be okay with that? If you had a million dollars and you went to a thousand dollars, would you be okay with that steep decline? Oh, you wouldn't. Would you say that you had a massive loss? Would there be a noose near your bed going towards a balcony? Your wife who's now divorced you trying to talk you out of it on the phone because you're crying to her about it? Oh, yeah, right? Oh, but I guess when looking at the wrestling equivalent of that with Warlow, for an example, having his promo, cutting his promo, finally building himself again out of the, digging himself out of the hole you buried him into, you put him in a mattress of mojo for no fucking reason and have him get choked out. The Enforcer for, your, you know, your United Kingdom stable, who you just introduced not even two months ago, barely. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, totally. Absolutely. That's absolutely not a burial. But I expect to hear that from the AEW faithful because that's how they think. That's how they that's that's how their mind works. Like I said, it's not about WWE. Oh, excuse me. It's not about AEW. It's about WWE. That's all that it's about. If there is an opposition to WWE, you have to support it. Doesn't matter what they do, you have to support it. And it's an enabling effect because what you're in effect, what you're doing is telling Tony Khan that what he's currently doing at the moment is a good thing. His booking strategy is a good thing. When you go out there and you say, Tony Khan, you're cooking, bro. Oh, you're cooking. Cooking what? Noodles? Buddy, can you even boil water? What the fuck is he cooking? Cooking what? What ingredients? What ingredients? If he's cooking anything, he's taking the shit out of the pot. Maybe he'll maybe he'll use it next week, right? Oh, fuck out of here. What you fuck you? What do you mean? No, he's not. He's absolutely not cooking. Nothing in wrestling, in my opinion, is legitimately cooking. And I can tell you right now, the thing that's cooking the most, he's like 10 steps below that thing that's currently cooking at the moment. No, he's not. But what you do is that you take the you and this is something else, another part. You hyper focus on one specific thing, whether you're talking about a shoot promo, whether you're talking about a specific match that you like, that you blow completely out of a blow completely out of proportion, because literally every single match, whether you're talking about AEW wrestling in general, it's literally the same fucking thing. How many fucking super kicks and cutters and fucking false finishes can you get in one match and then have that go throughout the rest of the card before you're fucking told, holy shit, it's the same thing over and over and over again, you clowns. Seriously, it's like three moves I've seen professional wrestling and it's done over and over and over again out of sequence with quick movements. That's what you get. Tell me if I'm wrong when looking at AEW in particular, because I feel like they're the ones at the higher offense. At least WWE, it's a little bit more versatile. People reining in a little bit more. You can argue that it's a little bit more boring. I'll give you that. But boring versus tiresome. Which one? Which one? Boring could be WWE with the punches and the kicks and the, you know, they'll fit in a flip here and a flip there. False finish here, false finish there. But with AEW, you get super kicks, you get Canadian destroyers, you get cutters, you get roll ups, and you get false finishes. Take them out of sequence and just kind of, you know, throw it in there with a little bit of flips. That's AEW. Am I wrong? Super kicks, cutters. Canadian destroyers. Let's say flips. I'd rather say flips. Super kicks, cutters, Canadian destroyers, some type of flip, false finish, roll up. That's it. The six moves of doom when fucking with AEW in some kind of sequence. Every wrestler, literally every single fucking wrestler. Every wrestler. Every goddamn wrestler. You don't understand. That shit kills me. It kills me because you see with your own objective eyes what's going on. The product isn't good. The rivalries suck. The superstars, they're not built up correctly. Your favorite wrestler fucking sucks at the moment thanks to, uh, thanks to Tony Khan. Everything about the fucking company sucks, but you hyper-focus on one specific thing as if the thing that you're hyper-focusing on, we don't see all the goddamn time and you're using it as a crux to say, it's good wrestling, Devontae. You don't understand, it's good. Fuck, it's good, Devontae. Ah, I'm foaming at the mouth. <sighs> but in reality, no, it's not. It absolutely isn't. It's on repeat. 
you got your you got your little iPad or your iPhone or whatever fucking device you're using and you got the playlist on shuffle but they keep playing the same five songs over and over and over again even though you have hundreds upon hundreds of songs on your playlist even though you love those five songs a lot do you want to hear them over and over again 24 hours over and over in your head do you want to you go fucking 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 you know what no you go fuck hard mentally insane you will go mentally fucking batshit insane but when you know taken out of context and put within the aew's face like everything else we talked about in this video you take out of context and you put in the aew's face it's the greatest thing of all time this is a fucking cult listen up folks this is a cult and they have a cult leader a cult leader that they know will consistently take it to Vince in a manner on which we've ever seen. Meaning, he's not taking it to Vince because I've never seen a company in second place give so little fucking heat to Vince McMahon or WWE, whoever's in fucking control right now. But, because he's a billionaire, but because his promotion currently at the moment is sitting at number two by default, we have to support him. He's on cable television. He actually is the alternative events. Okay. You keep telling yourselves that. And I'll be over here laughing at you motherfuckers. Because between the both of us. You know the, the one who's consistently attacking WWE as much as he doing AEW. I'm going to be here. And I'm going to continue to critique professional wrestling as a whole. Until it gets to a point where um, we can legitimately call it a good show. And not just one side of the audience. Not the ones who are like 15 years old. Stuck in their mom's basement with the Cheeto dust underneath their fingernails. Tapping on that stale fucking keyboard that you got from your grandma as a hand-me-down. You can continue doing that. That's fine. Maybe Tony would appreciate you. I don't know. I don't think you even care for the appreciation. You care for the self-destruction of WWE. That's your prerogative. That's not going to happen. It will never happen. Um... And you should probably look in the mirror and tell that person to um, get their priorities in check. You know, get 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 yourself in check. Um, you can break up as many excuses as you want to. You can say that I'm racist, even though I'm black, because I don't like women. But you want to hyper focus on Mercedes Monet. You can say that I'm sexist because I want to see good women's wrestling. I want to see women at the very least, if they're not going to do the wrestling correctly, you know, do what they did in the past to draw that they do on their Instagram pages all the time. I'm sexist for saying do Instagram stuff on TV. That's fine. You can have that argument all you want to. I'm sexist. I'm racist. Oh, transphobic. Did I did I miss that? Because totally there's a bunch of trans. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of the men ladies running around in AEW at the moment. Am I right? Oh, yeah, totally. Go for it. Why right, homophobic? By all rights, do your thing, chicken wing. That still won't take away from the evidence that we see currently at the moment, whether that's ticket sales, whether that's the attendance in itself, or whether that's the figures and the television numbers. And the more and more you deflect, the more and more excuses you come up with, the more apparent and the more obvious that it is. You do not give a shit about AEW. You hate AEW. You want to see them die. You have poisoned them and you want to see them suffer by telling them that they're okay. And the ironic part about it is, because like I said, in the end of the day, it's just hatred for WWE. The ironic part about it is, WWE is still going to be the only business in town if you keep up this attitude. Because the one thing that you love the most, that you claim you love the most, you're going to end up killing it. Think about that while you're running around with your fucking Cheeto does fingers, you assholes. As always, my name is Devontae, and I'll be catching you guys later. Let the comment section rip. I can't wait. Let's go!